well, what makes a bubble a bubble is that it's a thin layer of liquid that traps within it another substance, usually air. To understand why bubbles are colorful, we have to understand light. Now, light is something very peculiar in that it behaves both as a wave and a particle. Let's just focus on the wave nature for this one. Just like any other wave, light follows the principle of superposition. It is this property of light that results into the phenomena of interference and diffraction. These phenomena also serve as proof of the wave nature of light. Interference here is what we want to dive deeper into so as to understand the physics behind the colorful bubbles. When two light beams meet each other at a point in space, they either add up or cancel out, depending on the phase difference. The waves having a phase difference of an integral multiple of 2 pi result into constructive interference, while the ones having phase difference of integral multiples of pi result into destructive interference. You must have seen an interference pattern of monochromatic laser beams in your high school or college. Now let's see how the interference happens in a bubble, which results into the colors that we see. Let us look into how this phenomena takes place in a bubble. Before that, the phenomena of observing different colors on a bubble is called iridescence. The main reason for iridescence is interference. But when we performed the double slit experiment, we did not see any colors. The reason for that is we use a monochromatic light there. But when we observe a bubble, we usually observe it under sunlight or white light, which consists of seven colors. So we see the different colors on the bubble. But how does something as simple as a bubble produce such a beautiful phenomena? And the answer to that is thin film interference. Thin film interference is like the big brother of the double slit experiment. If we zoom into the bubble, uh, hey, Adanshu, uh, can you zoom into the bubble a bit? Whoa, 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 not that much. Oh, yeah, thanks. A soap bubble is a very thin sheet of water sandwiched between two layers of soap molecules. When light falls on the first layer, it gets partially reflected and this is the same reason why we observe our reflection when we look into a water body or maybe glass. However, this light also partially goes through the film and at the second layer, it again gets partially reflected. The second set of photons has to travel a larger distance than the first and because of this, there will be a difference in the phase and this leads to the interference. It is important to know that it is the thickness of the bubble which makes iridescence apparent because this thickness determines whether light, a, a particular wavelength gets amplified or cancelled out. And since this thickness varies all over the bubble, we get different colors.